सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द ट्वेंटी नाइन चैलेंज इन थर्टी डेज रिया जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव अनदर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज डेवलप अ करेंसी कन्वर्टर एप्लीकेशन दैट अलाउ यूजर टू इनपुट एन अमाउंट इन वन करेंसी एंड कन्वर्ट इट टू अनदर सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ करेंसी कन्वर्टर एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग रिया जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड रिएक्ट हॉक्स सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल मेक सी यू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो डैट यू डोंट मिस दसम वीडियोज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल क्रिएट React arrow functional component and export, and we will import some hooks like the use state, and another one is the use effect. Now we will create some state. We will write amount. Final will be set amount, and initially it will be a blank string. Now we will create another use state. we will write from currency and set from currency and initially i will set to usd now we'll create another use state i will write to currency and i will set to euro now we'll create one more state i will write converted amount final will be set converted amount and initially it will be null at last we will get last state which is exchange c h n g exchange rate set exchange rate and initially it will be null now we will modify our html we will write section dot landing section div dot row dot container we will write div dot form and we will write h1 dot landing heading here we will write currency converter after h1 we will write mb2 div dot mb2 margin bottom 2 and inside we will make one label and uh, we will remove this html4 we don't want this and instead of html4 we will write class name which is form label and inside we will write amount and one input tag okay and here we will pass this the amount state and on fire of on change we will make one function handle amount change and this function is yet to define okay and we will give the class name form control now after that after this uh, div we will make one another div we will create one label and uh, we will remove this html4 we will pass one class name form label and inside we will write form currency we will create one select tag okay and we will remove this name and id and instead of this we will pass one value which is from currency and uh, same on the fire of on change we will call one function which will be handle form currency change now we will make some option so we'll let option and the value will be usd okay us dollar or you can say simple usd and same we will copy this option paste it two times and in the second one we will write euro on the third we will write gbp okay and same for the euro here now we will copy this same div and paste it below we will write two currency and in the state we will pass the two currency and same we will call one function which is handle two currency change okay and we will write inr indian rupee and 
the euro and the gbp now after that after this day we will create one button and inside button we will write convert and uh, we will pass a class name btn btn success and uh, one on click which is handle convert okay and uh, we will make one check because initially since the uh, converted amount is null so we will make one check that if the converted amount okay is not equals to null then only we will uh, show this text like inside div we will create one div and uh, format the document after that we will write one paragraph and inside paragraph we will write converted amount We will pass this converted amount state and to currency also to currency okay so now our JSX part is complete and now we have to define this function so first of all so we will define this handle amount change so we will write const handle amount change it will accept one event a callback function and uh, we will write set amount to event dot target dot value instead of event you can also call e which is a synthetic event and same we will call uh, copy this function two times and uh, we will define this function also handle form currency change and handle to currency change so in the handle form currency change we will write set form currency to event dot target dot value and in the to currency we will pass this set to currency even to target or value and now uh, last function we have the handle convert so we will define this function also handle convert javascript arrow function and here we will check if the value is not equals to not a number sorry not caps lock and an and we will pass this amount and and the exchange rate then we will create one variable const converted value equals to amount into exchange rate after that we will update the final state which is set converted amount to converted value dot to fixed to two so now our basic logic is completed now if i go to my server and localhost slash 5173 challenge 29 i think something is wrong so let me check in the gsx because you not that expected okay so my bad uh, i have to pass this class name also so i will pass form select and one more class name select tag so I will copy this class name and paste it here also and now I think it works fine yeah so from currency and uh, to currency is also not working so form level okay so my bad I have to paste this class name into the select tag now I think it should work yeah so so currently what we want uh, when the user will give some specific amount and when he try to exchange the currency then on the basis of one click we will call one function uh, with the help of use effect and uh, we have to create one api call so for that we will make one use effect and inside use effect we will make one check if from currency is not equals to equals to to currency then only i will call one function which is get exchange rate and inside i will pass one url okay so i will create one url const url equals to so i have this url link uh, you can simply go to this uh, exchange rate api.com you can copy this link and just navigate to your chrome browser and uh, 
just navigate to this link and here you can see uh, by signing in you can get a free api key and on the basis of your api key you can create one uh, request okay so let's suppose if i write my email and you will see uh, i have this api key and uh, i have this example request when i will hit this api i will get one json response and you can use this response you can see here we have this the currency converter rates and uh, we have so many currency exchange here so you can use this and you can also explore this part of documentation uh, you can just navigate to the documentation parts and we have the docs overview okay and uh, you can call this api on the basis of your needs so let's get back to our code and now uh, we will pass one parameter we will write from currency slash dollar to currency okay now we will define this function we will write const get exchange rate is equal to async function and we have to accept the uri and after that we will make one try and catch and i will create one variable which is const response is equals to await axios dot get uri now we will write const rate equals to response dot data dot conversion rate so i will copy this conversion rate and paste it here so after that we will update the final state set exchange rate to rate and let's suppose if the api fell then we will print the error console dot error error dot message and if the from currency is not equal to equal to two currency then we are calling this function and else what we will do else we will set the exchange current amount set exchange rate to one so if the from currency and to currency will be same so it will set the exchange rate to one and if it is not then we will call one function and we will make an api call so you will see after saving this file if i write something like amount to be 100 and from usd to inr and click on the convert button you will see the converted amount which is 8322.73 inr so you can use this uh, type of logic in your react application and uh, you can also modify this part of code you can add some more logic into this so try adding some more css and try adding uh, try making this ui attractive and try more functionality and you can also uh, explore the documentation which is exchange rate api.com so you can use this website and this is basically a powerful exchange rate api uh, by which you can make any api response okay related to currency exchange and you can see here it comes with a free version we have a 1500 api request quota available and i have consumed 19 api requests today so you can use this and uh, you can also explore the documentation so yeah if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching